Hi guys! Welcome to Merge Sort video tutorial. Here, I will teach you about Merge Sort. Merge Sort is a comparison-based sorting algorithm with a 0n lag and time complexity, which means it is more faster than any other sorting algorithm. Merge Sort is a divide and conquer algorithm. So, how does that work? So, here we have as numbers, set of numbers that will represent as our array. In merge sort, we first have to divide our array into sub-arrays until the sub-arrays contain only one element, a single element. After they produce a single element, they will be merged and sorted until they, be they became back to a one so solid array and they will become sorted. So here, we change the values first into um, 6 and then 3 and 5 zero and one so here we have six three five zero and one and then b here is our first sub list sub array that will contain half of our original array so five divided by two will be two so we will take first two elements Not like that. Just the elements there. And then C here will be the length of our A minus the length of our B. So 5 minus 2 will become 3. Not again. There. So we now have a sub array with two elements and a sub array with three elements with each which is five and then these two we still have to divide it so that it will become one two divided by one two divided by two is one so we take here this there so we here single elements and then C here, we still have to divide them. C is equals to A minus B. So, 3 minus 2 will become 1. So, we take 1 away. And then C here will be this 2. Until they become like that. So now, B, they all have a single element. And now, we will merge this. In merge sort, we use recursion. Recursion is a term for repeated action until a condition is met. So in recursion, we repeatedly merged each element until they become sorted and one array. So here in recursion, we've we do um how we call this um backwards. So the last action that we've done will be our first action now. So here this is these two is our last separation. So in recursion, this will be our first merge element. So, we compare this. So, 0 is less than 1 through. So, we merge this like that. And now, C has two elements. And then, C is compared to this single element. C. It's 5 less than 
0? No. Is 5 less than 1? No. So 5 will be placed here at the last element of C. And C is now back at its original. Now we have to do with B. So 6 is less than 3? No. So they will swap and merge. And now B return to its original. And now we have to merge B and C to make it with A. So we can we compare 3 with this and so on. So 3 is 3 less than 0? No. So 0 will be placed at the first element of A. And then 3 still will be compared the next element of C. Is 3, is 3 less than 1? No. So 1 will be placed at the next element of A. And then 3 will be still compared with the last element of C. So 3 is less than 5 through. So 3 will be returned to A. And then 6 is less than 5? No. So 5 will be returned. And then 6 will be returned there. So now we merge them all into a single array. And as you can see, they are already sorted. So for the implementation of coding, wrong click. So here we have an array class. So I declared here an array as array with the size size as five for loop for getting array values and another for loop for printing the values of our original array. And then next we have to make a new Java class and I will name it as merge. So now we have a merge class for a merge sort. We declare a So A here will be our original array and of course we have to return a value and we have to set a condition if if a that length is not equal one for we know that a value of element should be a single element so that once the length of the array is one then we have to stop with that array So n here will be the size of our int of our array b. And another array as uh, c to make it um, capital. There. And then c as I said er earlier the size of our C will be the size of our A minus the size of our B. So now we can have a for loop for comparing. statement for conditions
so here I said an if and else statement so if CTR is less than n BCTR will be equal to ACTR and then else CCTR minus n is equal to ACTR so I do this for containing our values so that the half for array will be set to b and then the next and the remaining will be set to the values of our c and then after the for loop we have to make a So this part will be the so-called recursion wherein we repeatedly call the same or it the same or its own method until a condition is set. So so that we will be doing the sub array B and sub array C. After that, will, they will be merged to a single array. So then. We have to make the merge method. C here will become our original array. Oh, no, we said it as. Oh, I'm getting here. We said <coughs> just this will just become a variable, but they will still hold the values of array B and array C. So this will become C. just re returned C to its original and then we have to return C and then declare variables it will hold our index for comparing and now we have to make a for loop for looping our array in, compar in comparison We 
got an error here. Hmm, there. We got an exist. There. Sorry for the confusion. And then another else skip. So this part, our nested if else, is for comparing our final array. Just like what I've done in here, in this part, compare the values of B to C, and then if it's less than, then we put it at the left or at the beginning index for array. And now if we run this, oh wait, we have first declared uh, object for our merge class, so we renamed it as object1, so that every time we access the methods inside our merge class, we only use object1. First we have to set here our And we label it as sorted array. And we call our object. And we set it array equals our object. Merge sort. And now we have to make a for loop for printing our the values of our array. So if we run this, for example, we run set six zero one five three. Here the values are six two one five three, and the sorted array is one two three five six. As you can see, they are already sorted. So that's merge sort. I hope you're still getting it. In my next tutorial, I will teach you about quick sort. It's getting harder. Thank you guys.